Yes. Let's get back to your first alert weather now. Another cool night ahead. We could drop into the 40s again in some spots. Albert is here tracking the climbing temperatures for tomorrow and headed into the weekend, Albert. Erica Joe, if you like the cool weather, especially the cool mornings, enjoy it because we will not have a cooler temperature from tomorrow morning for over a week. We're looking at a big warm up in the coming days. It starts tomorrow at 85 on Friday in the 90s. We go this weekend as hot as 95 degrees on Sunday. Also on the increase late in the weekend, humidity on the hills of the southerly wind. That's going to make it feel like that heat index upper 90s to near 100 degrees. Sunday into Labor Day and then we have a front in the forecast. It's not for another six days comes in Wednesday comes in with a chance of a shower storm and a little bit of cooler air behind it in about a week. Feels nice though out there right now. We've got that natural AC right off the lake. A wind out of the east. 70 Lincoln Park, 70 Skokie, a little bit milder. Schaumburg at 77. Lyle right now at 76. West Chicago at 77 degrees. And temperatures pretty uniform the farther inland you go. 70 in Aurora, 79 in Joliet. Low to mid 70s across northwest Indiana. Nice evening. A clear sky. Temperatures in the 60s. 66 at 9 p.m., 65 at 10 o'clock. And then overnight, once again, will fall into the 50s across Chicago. Western suburbs out here towards the southwest. Not as cool as this morning for tomorrow morning, but still upper 40s, including 48 degrees in Rensselaer, right at 50 for the overnight low in Kankakee. Tomorrow will be a warmer day. We have just as much sunshine as today. The difference, not that lake breeze, will have more of a southerly wind over most of the area, and that will propel our temperatures into the low to mid 80s. One of the warmest spots, I think it will be the city at 85 with low 80s right along the lake shore. But here's the heat that's coming for the holiday weekend. Tomorrow around this time, hottest temperatures in the country in the front range and in the plain states, and that will get a bit closer to us as we head towards Saturday. Here's the position of it on Sunday. 95 will be our high. The high still in our areas so will go 94 on Monday. Starts to wrap in moisture from the south and position just out here towards the east of us on Tuesday. So still 90s in the forecast Tuesday of next week. What's going to change things is our next front comes in on Wednesday. We'll have enough heat and humidity out ahead of this front that a few thunderstorms will possible on Wednesday 88 still ahead of the front and then we'll have some 70s and low 80s behind it as we head into Thursday and Friday of next week. The muggy meter. The good news is even though that's the same high pressure we were tracking a week ago won't be as strong uh, with the heat or as much humidity as we saw last week, but you'll notice those humidity levels ticking up Sunday into Labor Day still lingering into Tuesday and that's why we have that chance for some heat indices approaching 100 Sunday, Monday, maybe even a Tuesday in some spots. So building temperatures the next few days mid 80s for tomorrow, 90 on Saturday, but it's a dry heat. Humidity stays in check. You'll start to feel the stickiness, the humidity, 95 on Sunday, 94 for Labor Day. We'll add some rain chances next week. They're pretty small at this point, 20% Tuesday. There's that front with a 30% chance of a shower storm on Wednesday. Low 80s, though, a week from today. All right, thanks, Albert.